What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today I wanted to show you guys how to set up the SenseCap M4, which is the Flux node. The tutorial that they provide is really easy and straightforward to follow. However, I didn't read it, so I had some issues and I think that is something that a lot of people do. So I wanted to show you guys where I made my errors and show you guys how to fix them. So let's get right into it. The first thing you want to do is plug in your SenseCap M4 to power and to ethernet. If I read the manual, I would have seen this, but the first issue I came across was actually plugging the ethernet cable into the wrong port. There's two ports and you wanna make sure that you plug it into the one right next to the HDMI port. If you plug it into the one on the left, it'll actually cause the amber light to blink instead of turning red, which does not indicate a successful connection to the internet and it caused about 30 minutes of troubleshooting. And if this is your first time setting up a flux node in general, you still need to open up ports and enable UPnP on your router. There's plenty of tutorials on how to do that and it varies depending on your manufacturer, but make sure you open up your ports, otherwise you will not be able to connect to the network for flux. Now that the device is plugged in and connected to the internet, what you wanna do is download the SenseCap app and log in. If you don't have an account, you're gonna to have to create one. Once you create an account, you'll be greeted with this screen, which gives you the two options, Helium or Flux. In this case, we're gonna be picking Flux and it will have a drop down for setup. Click setup and then it will give you this prompt. So what you first wanna do is power it up and here's the screen and then you wanna plug in the network cable and it says to plug it into closest to the HDMI port as you can see in that photo. And next you wanna enable Bluetooth and to enable the Bluetooth you actually have to take off the device lid and push down on a button. And when you hold down this button for five seconds, it will blink blue, and then you'll be able to see the device on your phone. So once the blue light is blinking, click the scan device button and it should pop up really quickly on your phone. Then you can connect to that device and it will give you the option to install the flux node. All you have to do is click install and it will go through the process. It took me about 10 to 15 minutes, I would say, for it to actually install. And I was a little worried because I thought it was getting stuck at like 30%, but don't fret. Just give it a little bit, give it some time to actually install. And from there on, then you can go back in and connect via Bluetooth. You'll have to go through the same settings. And from here forward, it's the same as setting up any other flux node. What you're going to need is all your Zell core information. You have to send exactly the amount of flux. And in this case, it's a thousand flux to your account. And once it's in your account, it will automatically dedicate it to a node. And then from there, you get all of the information, the collateral ID, etc. plug it into this and then it will verify, make sure it's all working. If there's any errors, it will notify you if you set up the Discord bot and you will be able to see that you might not have a port open. And then from there, it's pretty much it. Once it's all set up, this is a uh, plug and play, let it go operation. And that's the best part about flux nodes. There's really no maintaining. As long as you have a stable internet connection and power, you're gonna be able to have this up and running and earning some passive income on your flux node. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you guys have any questions at all, if I didn't cover anything, put that in the comment section below. I will do my best to answer all of the questions as well as join the Discord server, which will be linked in the description below. And if you guys are interested in this device in particular, there will be a pinned comment, which will have a discount code so you guys can pick one of these up. But thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next video. Have a great one. Peace out.